Screen sizes have been growing rapidly, but when it comes to phones with large displays, the Note series from Samsung's always been the gold standard, the one against which all comers are measured. The Note 4 is no different. So what makes the Note 4 the best large display touring smartphone or tablet? Well, that's what I'm gonna try to show you in this video. So, if this is your first time here, or in case you just can't remember, my name's Ash, this is C4E Tech, and I'm missing something, aren't I? Oh yeah, the giveaway. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten, we'll get to it. So, let's get started. Reason number one, the S Pen. The S Pen brings with it some unique functionality that others just haven't been able to replicate. As much as I love capacitive touchscreens, there's always just some unoptimized website or some small link that I pull my S Pen out for. And Samsung's improved the S Pen further this time around with the Note 4. Writing feels a lot more natural. If you're putting the phone down on the table and writing with your palm resting on the screen, the Note 4 is intelligent enough to figure that out and not detect your palm touching the display. And adding to that, Samsung's thrown in a bunch of features, including one where it can mimic the functionality that a mouse brings to Windows. The handwriting recognition's a lot better too this time around. Reason number two, multitasking. When you have a large display, you need to make the best use of it. And the Note 4 does just that. Multi-window or the ability to run two apps side by side is brilliant. And Samsung's been continuously working on improving this and the end result now, it's deeply integrated into the UI. You can launch multi-window right from the recent app screen. That's a real welcome addition. If running two apps side by side wasn't enough for you, you now have apps floating on top of each other. You could resize them, minimize them, or seamlessly transition back to the multi-window scenario again. Reason number three, the specs underneath. The Note 4 right now sports the best internals that money can buy. Qualcomm Snapdragon 805, that's four great 450 cores clocked at 2.7 gigahertz each coupled with an Adreno 420 GPU and 3 gigs of RAM. What this means is, despite pushing more pixels than your average smartphone, the Note 4 manages to run pretty much anything thrown at it. Thanks to its beefy internals and again thanks to 32 gigs of internal storage, you have ample room to install your apps and games, store your media content and again if that wasn't enough, you can always add uh, expand your memory via microSD. The Note 4 supports microSD cards up to 128 gigs. That brings us to reason number 4. The camera. The 16 megapixel camera on the Note 4 is one of the best that I've used in a while. While yes, it has its flaws on the software side, basically shooting a picture and jumping to the gallery takes a few seconds, and as annoying as that is, that is, the resulting pictures are very good. And with optical image stabilization on board, the 4K videos turn out great too. A large and bright display, plus a CPU with a high clock speed, plus tons of preloaded features, now that's an equation that usually leads to a sad, sad battery life, but this is an area where the Note 4 shines bright. 15 plus hours on a looping video playback test. I've tested phones with much higher capacity batteries that struggle to last half that time. The standby range pretty low as well and the Note 4s never fail to get me through a day on a single charge. And to top it all off, it comes with a fast charger that lets your battery go from 0 to 50 in just 30 minutes. Add to that the fact that the batteries use are replaceable, meaning you can swap out batteries or replace them as you please. That's reason number five why I feel the Note 4 is the best large screen touring smartphone in the market today. Enough pricing? Well, well, let's save that for another day. So with that, we get to the giveaway. First off, let me start with an apology. I'm hosting this giveaway in collaboration with Samsung India, meaning there are going to be a few limitations. Number one, you need to be an Indian citizen currently living in India to be eligible. To my international viewers, I promise you there will be at least two more giveaways in upcoming months and that would not be restricted by geography. Requirement number two, you need to be above the age of 18 since once the winner is selected, you'll have to send in a copy of your valid identity proof. So if you're under 18, get help from your parents. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. So here's how you can enter. It's simple. Just share this video on Twitter, tag me at C4E Tech so that I can track your entry and mention your favorite Note 4 feature. So to reiterate, your tweet needs to have the following. One, hashtag Galaxy Note 4, that's in the title. So if you're just gonna share it, it's gonna be, it's gonna appear automatically. Number two, tag me at C4E Tech. So these are basically, like I said, to track your entry. And number three, mention what your favorite Note 4 feature is. 
And of course, to be eligible, you need to be following Sephora Tech on both YouTube and Twitter. So this contest close, closes on midnight 31st of December. The winner, you can send in your entries till then. The winner will be announced in the next couple of days following that. And the winner will have 48 hours to get back to me, failing which another winner will be chosen. So once you get back to me and we get the basic paperwork done, uh, the device, a brand new Snapdragon 805 Touring Galaxy Note 4 will be shipped out to you. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see me giving away more devices, you have to make your voices heard. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And for more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button as well. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.